everybody. It's the first episode of 13 Days of Halloween for the second season. So my costume is myself. <laughs> my dad, I was asking my dad for ideas for costumes and he said, why not go as a bitch? So here I am as myself. <laughs> so I watched the Scream Awards. Marilyn Manson was there, so that was cool. Uh, they cut him off though, which was really weird. He was announcing the best TV show, I guess, and he came out and said something because there was a girl on fire on the stage and he came out and said something and they cut right to the nominees. <laughs> so, um, but the winner of best TV show was True Blood and they all came on stage and it was really funny because Marilyn Manson was making faces behind the people who were um, talking. True Blood also won the holy shit moment, best fe horror actress, a horror act, like a horror character. So Anna Paquin won, obviously the female one. The guy who plays Eric Ale Alex Alexander, I'm not gonna try to say his last name. He won the horror, the best horror actor. He they also won holy shit moment, where I don't know if you guys watch True Blood, but on one of the episodes, Bill has sex with Lorraine, I think that's her name, Lorraine, and he twists her head totally like 360. <laughs> so that, it, it was called Twisted Sex, that's what it was called for to be nominated. Zombieland won Best Horror Movie and Bill Murray came out in his Ghostbuster uniform, <laughs> Ghostbusters uniform, and ex ex accepted the award. Avatar won Best 3D Movie, but James Cameron Avatar also won like best FX, I guess that's what they called it, and James Cameron won best director. Go figure! Twilight Saga Eclipse won two awards. They won best fantasy actress and best fantasy. It, this, is, this is weird. They announced the nominees for Mutilation Part and it was two things from Saw 6, the Pound of Flesh from Saw 6, and the Needle Trap from Saw 6. Scout from Inglorious Bastards and Heart Souffle from True Blood, but none of them won. The Human Centipede, the first sequence, what happens in that movie got the best mutilation part and the most anticipated, which was Breaking Dawn, uh, Breaking Dawn for Twilight, Harry Potter Seven, Tron, and Cowboys and Alien. Then the most anticipated one, I guess, was Gr the Green Lantern, and Ryan Reynolds came out and ac accepted the award. Best worst movie. I thought it was so hilarious that they actually have that category because the movie that got it, <laughs> I, I heard nothing but good things about it. That it was a fun movie to go see, it was gory, stuff, da da da. I, I've heard nothing but good things about it, but it was Piranha 3D. That was the best worst movie, so I just started cracking up. I thought it was the funniest thing that it was getting such good reviews and it just won the award for best worst movie. Anthony Hopkins was there, which by far is one of my favorite actors. Uh, he was there to show the world premiere of his new movie coming out called The Right. And basically what it's about, it's about, it's based on a true story first off, or true events. And it's kind of like exorcisms and stuff in, like, in the Vatican. It started out saying something that the Vatican was doing this research or whatever stuff and da 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 and like three days later they denied everything because I guess somebody found out but it was it's basically all like exorcisms and stuff in there so I'm gonna go see it. It kind of looks good. It actually looks like a good exorcism movie so. And near the end they showed the world, well I guess it really, it really isn't a world premiere because um I've seen the preview for it like plenty of times. The world premiere of Harry Potter 7 Part 1 Deathly Hollows, and I am so excited to go see that movie. It looks so good. So, uh, tune in for another episode.